So at a depth of y, the gauge pressure of the water is going to be p. This would be equal to the density of the water times the acceleration due to gravity times y, which again is the depth uh, y. We can say that here we're going to consider a horizontal strip of width w at a depth of y with a vertical thickness dy across. We can then say that the area dA would be equal to the width times dy. And so the force it exerts would simply be equal to df. This would be equal to the pressure times dA. And we can then uh, substitute. This would be the pressure times the width times dy. And the total force F uh, for part A would be equal to the integral from 0 to D, the total depth times the pressure, rather, my apologies, times the density, rho, times the acceleration due to gravity, G times Y times W times DY. This is going to be equal to 1 half times rho G W D squared. This is going to be equal to 1 half in a new line. The force would be equal to one half times the density of water, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, uh, multiplied by 9.80 meters per second squared, multiplied by the width of 314 meters, and multiplied by uh, 35.0 meters quantity squared, and we find that the force is going to be equal to 1.88 times 10 to the ninth newtons. This would be our answer for part A. For part B, we're going to again consider the strip of water at depth y. Its moment arm for the torque uh, it exerts about O, point O, would be equal to D minus Y. So we can say that D tau, the torque, would be equal to DF times D minus Y. This would be equal to the density times G times Y times W times D minus Y DY. And we can then say that the total torque tau would be equal to the integral from 0 to d of the density times g times y times w times d minus y and dy. This would be equal to the density times the acceleration due to gravity times w the width times d cubed over 2 minus d cubed over 3. Uh, this would be tau is going to be equal to one sixth times the uh, density g w d cubed, and we can solve. So this would be one sixth times one thousand kilograms per cubic meter times nine point eight zero meters per second squared times the width of three hundred and fourteen meters multiplied by thirty five point zero meters quantity cubed, and we find that the total torque is going to be equal to two point two times. Well, the 2.20 times 10 to the 10th Newton meters. This would be our answer for part B. And finally, for part C, uh, we know that the torque tau is going to be equal to the R times F, where R is the effective moment arm, which means that the effective moment arm would be equal to the total torque tau divided by the force F. This would be equal to one sixth, we can say the density times G times WD cubed divided by one half of the density times G times WD squared. And this would be equal to D over three. This would be 35.0 meters divided by three. And so the effective moment arm R would be equal to 11.7 meters. This is our final answer for part C. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.